Hi everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome to another Forza Tips video. Today I'll be comparing the importance of tuning versus building versus driving. Now the background video is taken from my stream uh, when I was building and tuning the new Hot Wheels car pack and the race was a random race which is taken from my stream also. I want to let you guys know that what I say is opinion but there are lots of facts to support what I'm about to say and now I'm going to start with, in my opinion, what's the least important, tuning. So tuning is basically the final tweaks you're going to be doing on your car before you drive it. These tweaks won't make a huge difference on actual lap time in comparison to a build, but of course the higher the class, the more important the tuning is because the building becomes something that doesn't even exist uh, when, once you get up to P and X class most of the time. Now tuning is very dependent on driving style and application. For example, somebody might like a tune that understeers a little bit, or somebody might like a tune that oversteers a little bit. And if they try and drive the other one, they might not even be able to drive the car. And for application, some cars like to be really loose to go fast, and then you might want another car that's a little bit tighter or a little bit easier to drive for an actual race and consistency, rather than leaderboard driving like the other one. Now, as I said before, tuning isn't going to have a huge effect on your time. It will the higher the class you go, but ultimately the build is going to be where you get the most of your time from. So tuning is pretty much just tuning the car to how you feel, how you want it to drive and getting comfortable with it rather than actually getting speed out of the car. Now you'll get a little bit of time out for sure depending on how you tune your car, especially if you tune it really badly you will notice that you'll lose time because the car has a lot of driving issues and other things like that. But ultimately the tune will not have too much effect on your overall lap times and things like that. This is why I'm able to tune very cars very quickly because I have a general knowledge of what the car needs based on how I built it and what I think it's going to do. And then from there I can make small adjustments and it'll be good to go. Now a lot of people ask me how do I tune my car? Do I use a calculator or anything like that? I tune it all by feel. So if a car feels like it needs something, I will do that instead of going to for, through a formula or anything like that, no calculators. I really don't like any of the calculators out there. I'd much rather tune by feel and I think it's way better to do it that way rather than put in, a for, or put in for a formula or get some numbers out of a calculator. Now let's talk about building. Now how, how I like to kind of explain what building is and how important it is, it, is it's basically the ultimate ceiling of your car. It's how fast your car can be. Which means that if your build is a little bit off, your car will not be as fast as it can possibly be and tuning will not be able to make up for it. Since this is the case, you can have a fast build with an okay tune and still have a fast car. But you can have a great tune, an amazing tune, but if, it, if the build is subpar, the car will not be nearly as fast as the one with the okay tune and a really good build. That's just how it works, unfortunately. But, as you get into the higher classes, obviously up into R, P, and X class, the build kind of, kind of slowly phases out and becomes less important and non-existent because you're either putting in basically all the parts, or there's one way to build it, or you can't put anything into the car. So at that point, then the tune completely takes over. So ultimately, this is where you should be spending most of your time if you're building cars for almost any other class. You want to perfect that build for whatever you want the car to do, whether it's a speed car, all-around car, a grip car, if you're building it for a specific track, that kind of thing. You want to perfect the build and spend the most time on your build, getting that right, getting that little extra bit out of it, maybe taking out an extra couple pounds via some you know, drive line or wheel combination, that kind of stuff. You want to spend the most time you can on the build to make sure it's correct. You can kind of go quickly through the tune. You don't want to sometimes overtune because that's a thing you could tune too much and then the car will start to fall off. If you end up putting too much time into it and then that can kind of lead to other things. But ultimately, you want to put the most time into your build, get that right, get that nailed down so that your car can have a very high ceiling and so if you're not the best tuner or you don't feel like putting a lot of time into the tune, you will still have a very, sol very solid car and a fast car. Now for the most important thing, driving. A good driver can drive almost anything fast with some exceptions. There are some cars that you just can't get going fast, uh, depend especially depending on who you're racing against and what they're running. But being fast as a driver can make up for just about any mistake whether it's in the build or the tune of the car. Obviously you still want a good build and tune if possible, but 
if you have a mediocre build, a mediocre tune, but a really good driver, they can still be extremely competitive with the car. Just because of their driving talent and skill, they'll be able to get through the pack if possible and uh, get all out of everything out of the car that they need to in order to win and go fast around the track. Now you'll see a lot of people who are subpar drivers driving really good cars, leaderboard cars, stuff like that, but ultimately no build, tune, or car can make up for lack of driving skill. Sure, some may make you a little bit faster compared to other cars. For example, if you're running a really fast car and you're a bad driver, you're still probably going to be faster than if you run a really bad car and you're, you're a slow driver. But ultimately, I think the best way to learn to become a fast driver is to use cars that you enjoy, cars that you like, cars that are fairly easy to drive, and just focus on getting the driving line down, getting your car control down, and that kind of stuff, rather than trying to run with fast cars and keep up with the people who have a lot of driving skill who may not be running as fast of cars in an attempt to keep up and possibly have a win out of the race. I, I don't think that's extremely good for general development of skill. I don't think that will help you very much. So ultimately when comparing each other, I think that the tune is the least important out of the three. Now obviously the tune becomes more important as I said once the build is kind of phased out in the higher classes, but I believe that in order it goes tune, then build, then driving. Obviously driving will always be the most important thing when it comes to any sort of racing. Uh, a good driver can keep up with bad drivers in just about anything they pick. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you guys later.